Oh, one's biting me. We just caught a fish with a freaking drill. All right, everybody. So we are doing something very freaking interesting today. This is something I've never done before. Nothing I've really even thought about doing until right now. I just kind of had this like genius idea and uh, that is fishing with a drill. So basically I was thinking to myself, what kind of video can I go film pretty quickly because it just stopped raining and what will be cool? I was like, okay, haven't done a live bait video in a very long time. So maybe we'll do a live bait video. Just rained, so there should be easily accessible worms in the ground. They should be coming out of the ground because it's very wet and it's flooded. And I was like, well, what are we gonna use to reel them in? We can't just use a normal fishing rod. So I came up with the brilliant idea of using a drill. All right, so what we've got is we've got a DeWalt set of drills. These are my drills right here. We've got a old impact drill and we got the normal drill. This is the one we're gonna need today. Okay, don't drop everything, that's not good. Okay, now we need a battery. Slap this thing in here. There we go. Somehow we're gonna put like a dowel or something in here, then attach a spool of line on here. That way, whenever we get a bite, well, we'll have to cast our line out first. Gotta throw our line out. Then whenever we reel it in, all we have to do is pull the trigger and it should reel it in automatically. So it's gonna be like a like a hands-free reel, I get. Well, it's still hand, I, I, I don't know. It's just gonna be cool because we're gonna reel them in with the drill, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. First, we have to go dig up some worms. Then we're gonna go ahead, build the fishing reel slash fishing rod. And uh, we're gonna go ahead, get to it. So we have to find some sort of bowl or container to put these worms in. I don't know what the heck I'm gonna use. Usually I use the old Bojangles cup, but I don't really know if we have any of those readily available right now. Only thing we got is like cardboard boxes, which we're not gonna use, cause that's just not gonna work out. So I have to find something to put these worms in. Well, I guess I'm just kind of stupid. I actually have a worm container right here. This used to have worms in it. I'm sure they're probably dead by now. So we're gonna go ahead and just go dig some up just, just because. There might be some in here, but they're probably like about done. So we're gonna go dig up some more worms. All right. So now we have to figure out which tool we want. So we got a couple different options here. Got some rakes, some shovels. Usually people would just go for the shovel, but you know, we're different here on the A-Dub channel. So we're gonna go with a nice rake because I think these worms are gonna be up under the leaves we shouldn't have to dig, and I really don't want to have to dig. So we're gonna grab the old, uh, the old faithful. Oh, this thing's messed up. The old rake right here. Okay. You can tell this thing has uh, seen its better days. It's got some tape on it, but you know what? It's gonna work. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and try this rake. Get down here, and see if we can find us any old red wiggler or the worms. So usually these worms are gonna get up under like rocks and logs and leaves and brush piles and we got the little uh, money spot right here we got a lot of brush and stuff laying on the ground i haven't dug worms up in like a couple weeks months i don't know it's been a while so they should be stacked up here we're gonna go ahead and get to digging we're gonna switch up to the gopro so i can use both my hands we're gonna see if we can get us some red wigglers some night crawlers some snakes i don't know what the heck we're gonna find but we're looking for some live bait to go catch some live fish all right, A-Dub gangsters, we're gonna see if we can find us some worms up in here. Either this is gonna be really good or it's gonna be really bad. Those are basically our two options. Okay, we've already got one. We've got fresh first blood, son, unless that's a centipede. I don't think it's a centipede. Where's my container? Okay, now, there's supposed to be worms in here, but I don't know if there is. Pretty sure they're all uh, they're all dead. Yeah, those those are just wiped out, like off the face of the planet. So uh, we're just gonna use the container. I think the little bit of dirt that's left in there should be fine. We did have a little worm somewhere right in here. I saw him crawling whenever I moved this dirt. Where'd you go, sucker? I don't know where he went. Dig him. You son of a gun, dude. Oh, there they are. There they are. All right, check it out. There's a little one right there. We've got a couple uh, bigger ones right up here. This one right here. Okay, not really big. But, I mean, they're decent size. You can see, I mean, they're decent little worms. 
they ain't no big huge night crawlers but they can get eaten by old brim get out of there sucker that gummit he's in little pieces dude crap okay that's another worm right here they're in pieces all right here we're going we're going to go for another oh golly dude look at these some guns i just moved this log out of the way oh my gosh those are some mega worms look at these oh there's a worm in the log come here no no where'd he go oh those are ants look at these things there's like little ants and maggots everywhere dude they're literally all oh, the worm there he is he came out this one was in the freaking log dude there's another one okay there's some big sum guns right here i'm not even kidding they're gonna freaking jump too because they're good ones Hold on let's grab my container all right okay yes yeah, sir good worms oh there's another one yes bingo there's another one. Oh no no they're so quick there we go okay i just really hope i did oh that's a big one so far i hope i don't like stick my freaking hand in like a snake's mouth or something dang dude they're stacked up under this log right here watch this we're gonna use our natural body part tool which is also known as your foot you just move some of this stuff out of the way and you start finding some more worms oh yes oh this is easy oh this is just easy i knew we were gonna find them like this i knew it i've done found like fifteen hundred thousand already see really you don't even like need a rake you can technically just use your foot and you can tell i'm just golly dude there's so many freaking ants yuck come on rake don't fail me now there we go check these suckers out yeah but you can tell right there i mean we got a pretty good amount of worms probably got about 20 probably if i was to guess and we're just gonna release them after we get done using them so i'm not gonna really put any dirt in here because they'll be fine we're just walking about like 100 feet over to my pond well more than 100 feet probably about 100 yards to my pond but uh after that we're just gonna release them back into the wild we're just getting these just in case we start catching the ever living heck out of them all right everybody so you can tell i've i've torn this up a little bit you can see all these little spots and everything right here and uh we're actually gonna just go ahead and just cover it right back up so if you cover up your spots they'll replenish this is kind of hard for me to do with one hand but uh, i'll go ahead and show you guys what i'm doing so basically you can tell like I've, I've like raked all these little spots right here so i'm just gonna take my rake take all those leaves and everything that i had moved off of this spot and just kind of just move them back i mean you're not gonna get it back perfect exactly how it was but you can sure as heck make it better than like this how it sits right now because if you cover these spots up i could come back here tomorrow and there's gonna be worms sitting back here in this same exact spot because i covered it back up like i was supposed to so be sure to always put it back how you found it and then you'll get some more worms in your worm digging spot all right so i think i just had a genius idea so i have to use the drill like we had said we're going to use the drill and we somehow have to incorporate line into this well if we use a spool of line the line's not going to wind up on there like it's supposed to so we need some a little bit of a taper so i just found this old cheer wine bottle right here in the trash can what if we can somehow connect this to here and then when we reel this thing spins and then the line gets spooled up right here and this little part that dips down i think that's genius so let's see if we can go find us a little wooden dowel or something we're gonna see what we can get cooking up but i think that this right here is the money move all right so as of right now we have not found a wooden dowel i thought i had one down here but there isn't one but i did find this little piece of wood this is actually a piece of cherry i had from a table i had built when i was in college and this will probably work it's just not gonna work as good as a dowel would so we're gonna keep looking for a dowel there's a big one in here 
but the big one's not gonna fit in the end of the drill so we gotta okay that door's closed we gotta do some thinking about uh what we're gonna be doing because i'm just really not too sure what the heck we're gonna be able to use excuse the mess i don't know what the heck we're gonna be able to use we ain't got no freaking dowel it's just it's just not here now this right here might could work but it seems a little bit uh too like limber too soft you know what i mean so that's probably gonna be a no-go the only dowel that i've found so oh no there's one right here look i didn't even see this some gun this one's this one's almost too small this is the one i had seen this is a big sucker i mean this won't even go in the drill but this right here this will go in the drill at least it should let's see here oh that's money look at that booyah baby that's what we need now we're gonna have to cut this thing shorter and then what we're gonna have to do is attach this bottle to it somehow i'm thinking it's gonna stick out somewhere about like this maybe might need to just drill a hole here drill a hole here and then somehow like make it like tight i don't know maybe not go all the way through i gotta figure that part out no that just ain't gonna work i don't think That actually worked. Hey, that's pretty cool. I never even thought about doing that. <laughs> well, all right then. All right, so basically this is what I've come up with. We're gonna take this, we're gonna get all the freaking juices out of it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna run a screw through this lid. Screw's gonna go through this way, and then the screw's gonna run into this dowel right here. That way these two are gonna be very tight. Then what we're gonna do so we're gonna go ahead and thread this onto the bottle, tighten it down real good, and somehow secure these two together. Maybe with some glue or tape, I'm not really sure, but we're gonna somehow secure this, and then that piece is gonna be hooked right there on that end where that cap is, and this should turn. In theory, that's what should happen. So we're gonna give it a shot so we can get going. I mean, we're just gonna probably just roll with it. Oh yeah, we split that sucker wide open. Well, that's an epic fail. That just didn't work out for us right there, boys. That just didn't do it. That uh, that did not work out. This is a genius plan, but uh, that just ain't that just ain't cutting it right there. All right, so this is what we got going on now. So basically, I drilled a hole through this cheer wine lid. And now we're gonna use the greatest thing ever invented, and that is uh, super glue. As long as this thing's gonna actually work like it's supposed to. Oh yes, sir. We just gotta let it dry. We're gonna see what happens. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do this just cause I'm impatient. I'm gonna put a little bit of super glue in these threads right here. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, screw this dang bottle on if i can find it i guess i just dropped it somewhere oh there it is there we go i'm gonna put a little bit of super glue in these threads so that hopefully it just won't come off that's what we're going for let's we'll just go ahead and grab that tighten it on up and we're gonna let it sit for a second we're gonna try to let this thing dry but basically, this is what we're working with. Got our drill. This is gonna be our line spool. And hopefully it's strong enough to not break. We're gonna have to see. We're gonna have to give it a little test run. Might have to redesign a little bit. But hopefully this will work just fine. All right, now it's time to test this thing out. See how good she's gonna hold up. All right, I think she's pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and roll with it. Let's get her spooled up. You know what? I'm pretty hot and sweaty from that. That's, that's kind of ridiculous. I've never put anything like that on my YouTube channel before, but you know what? I wanted to try something fun, you know? We're in terrible times right now in this world and we just need some fun. So hopefully you got some enjoyment out of that. 
And now that I'm wearing these camo shorts, you can see them right here. I kind of like these things, so I think I'm just gonna keep them on. They're over top of my other shorts, but I think I'm gonna keep them on because they look cool. So I'm gonna wear these things over to the pond. Let's go ahead and get some line on this reel and head over there and try to catch a bass or a brim or some sort of fish. Update, I accidentally dropped it and kind of broke it a little bit. So I just cut a little piece of wood, drilled a hole through it and just super glued it to the lid. And now this thing is stronger than ever. So I think we're gonna be, we're gonna be sitting pretty good now. It almost is like some air has been like let out of this like container, but I, I don't know. I think it'll be all right. We're gonna wait for this to dry and then we're gonna start spooling up. All right, so I went ahead and tied the line around this little bottle right here. I'm actually gonna take some electrical tape and uh, we're gonna tape around this thing one time just to make sure that knot isn't gonna slip just because it's not like an actual spool. It's like a bottle. So there's a little bit more of a chance it could possibly slip so we're just gonna tape over it right here. We do have it tied, like I said, but taping it, just gonna give it that extra little bit. There we go, you can see we got that tape on there. Now we should be able to go ahead and stick this thing in here and start spooling it up. I'm trying to spool this thing up like while, while you guys can see, and then I can do it at the same time. So I've kind of got this little rod holder shoved through this line, and I got the drill here, so I'm just gonna pull the trigger on this thing and it should spool up it's actually working pretty good actually all right that's probably good i don't even know but we're just gonna cut it there and hopefully that works so we gotta go get a bobber now and a hook booyah baby all right we got the essentials we got our whole setup right here we got our worms and we got a pair of pliers only got about 20 minutes left on this GoPro battery, so hopefully this thing will last. Or hopefully we can just catch a couple fish. We'll see, but uh, this is the setup we got right here. We're gonna go see if we can catch one. Dang if there ain't a freaking good sized bass right here. Literally, he's just chilling. If I catch a bass on this thing, I swear. All right, we're going back to heck up right here. I was about to just go to my little money spot I had at this other pond, but you know what? It's worth it to stop here because there's a bass. It's also starting to rain, which is just really not good because that was not in the plans for today. But, uh, gotta take what mother nature gives you, I guess. I can't, can't change it. So we're just going to deal with it. Hopefully we can catch something real quick before this dang rain washes everything out. Oh yes, sir. Check that cast out. Holy crap, dude. That thing went way freaking out there. I don't know if I'm gonna catch anything out there, but uh hey, pretty dang good cast, I ain't gonna lie to you. Oh one's biting me. Oh my gosh, we got one. We got one. Get in here, girl. Oh my gosh, that just freaking worked. Oh my gosh, with the drill. We just caught a fish with a freaking drill. Oh my gosh. If you haven't already, go ahead and freaking smash that subscribe button. Who the heck is doing this, guys? Who in the heck is doing this? We just caught a fish on a freaking drill. Like, that. that's just crazy. That That's unreal. Nice little bluegill right there. Let's see if we can get another one. That thing just performed like amazing. Like, let's see if we can get another one. It's freaking insane, dude. That is insane. I didn't even have to go to my money spot. We hooked one all the way over here. Next up is that old bass rooster right there. That son of a gun is about two pounds. If we get him on here, oh my gosh. It is going to be crazy. Hold on, before I re-rig, let's just inspect this setup and make sure nothing's messed up. It almost felt like the bottle was spinning or something, but I don't think it was. I think it did perfectly fine, like how it was supposed to. Like, I don't think this thing messed up at all. That was just a flawless performance. Flawless. I'm, I'm honestly very proud of my work, and I'm kind of surprised at how successful we were on our first bite. <laughs> first bite, first fish. Pretty freaking sweet, dude. 
pretty freaking sweet. Hook this worm in a couple little spots. Let some line out, just like the last time. And give her a old cast out there. That's not in the exact same spot, but uh, it's on out there a little bit. Oh look, another one. Oh my gosh, we got another one. We got another one. <laughs> this is so freaking cool. Are you kidding me? <laughs> With the freaking drill. With the drill. <laughs> it's so easy. All you have to do is just sit here and pull the trigger. Literally, that's all you have to do. Just sit here and pull the freaking trigger, dude. That is so much fun. This is better than bass fishing right now. Catching little fish on a drill. I mean, come on. Who knew you could do that? We just made a homemade reel out of a drill and we were sitting here over at the pond catching fish on it. That is, that's just so crazy. Let's see how many we can freaking catch. We got plenty of worms, so let's just keep rigging them on up. All right, here we go. This is what I'm gonna do, just like I just showed you. Let some line out. All you have to do is put the drill in reverse. You put it in reverse, let a good amount of line out. And then all you do is point the drill towards the pond because when you throw it, it'll actually come off a little bit more as long as it doesn't get hung on the grass. It got hung on the grass right there, so that was kind of a crappy cast. But we can always recast, but we're getting another bite. Dadgummit, I think he took my freaking bait. I couldn't catch up to him quick enough. Unless he still got it. Oh yeah, he's got it. Check it out. Oh no, that's a bass. We got a bass. We caught a bass. Look at that, little baby bass. That's the reason why I couldn't tell it was still on there. Look at this joker. Look at this little joker. <laughs> Look at this thing. So freaking small, dude. Oh my gosh. That is insane. All right, well, we're gonna go ahead and let this old lunker right here go. This son of a gun right here is freaking ginormous. Actually, we're gonna take a little, little IG picture for this one. All right, let's go ahead and get this guy back. Sayonara, sucker. All right, rigged back up with another worm. That is three fish so far. One of those being a bass, two of those being a brim. Uh-oh, what just happened? When we were unspooling, it got a little tangled, but I think we're good now. I think. Let's try giving this thing a toss. Oh my gosh, that's the new way we're casting. That's how we're doing it right there. That was freaking money. That was just easy. That was just easy. Make sure I can keep my line pretty tight. Oh my gosh, one just nailed that thing. Probably just took my bait, honestly. Yep, she done robbed us. So we have to get some more. Some more wormy worm. Them suckers are quick sometimes. It's just like, bam, there they are, then they're gone. Get us another nice little cast out there. There's like so much like kink in the line from me reeling it up that the bobber is like spinning in circles. And like I can feel it in the line. It's like very, very kinked up. Which is not good, but uh, it is what it is. Oh, one's playing with it. Come here, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. He's about to get away. It's a little brim. There we go. A little bluegill. Look at that. What is that, number four? Fish number four? That's a little baby one. Little baby one. We still got some worm on here, so I might just try it. We'll just try with this worm. I mean... It still looks pretty juicy to me. So I think we'll just roll with it. We'll just try. Okay, that's not what we were going for. We're going to go for another recast. Okay, that was not what we were going for either. So look at this. This is a freaking mess. I got like freaking one minute left on my GoPro to record. So I'm going to try to get this untangled or cut the line or something. Maybe we can catch one more. All right, we just retied. It's still very freaking tangled, but we're just going to roll with it for right now see how it does maybe just catch one more i mean like i said i got like a minute left on this sd card oh yeah we got one we got one we got one we got one we did it 
We did it. We got that one last fish that I wanted. So booyah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, son. That's what I'm talking about, old son. Got a big old black cat. There we go. That's going to be our last fish of the day. We're going to go ahead and let this one go. This is a pretty one right here. Beautiful fish. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a nice like on this video. Leave me a comment down below. Give me some feedback. And go ahead and subscribe. We'll see you later, Junior.